now official. The Chicago Bulls will not be having their first round pick in the 2021 NBA draft as that will be going to the Orlando Magic in the Nikola Vucevic trade. So I ask, should the Chicago Bulls regret making this trade for Vooch? Let's talk about it. What is going on, y'all? Fast Sports Talk. Back at it with another video talking, of course, NBA. So if you are a fan of the NBA and a fan of the Chicago Bulls, make sure to hit that big red subscribe button down below. Make sure to follow me on all my social media platforms. And guys, hit the bell icon so you're notified every time I drop a new video. Let's get into it. All right, so I know it's been a couple days now, but I wanted to talk about this. The draft lottery happened, and we found out that the Bulls are going to give up their pick this year to the Magic in the Vooch trade, right? So the full details were that if the Bulls had gotten the top four pick in this year's draft in the lottery, they would have kept that pick. But if not, it would have went to the Orlando Magic in that Nikola Vucevic trade and the draft lottery happened and it ended up being the number eighth overall pick that the Bulls got. So that obviously is not a top four pick. Hence, the Magic have that pick now. So it got me thinking, let's talk about this Vooch trade, right? We've had about half a season now uh, under our belt in terms of, you know, game film and, and, and time since the trade happened. And how do I feel about it? And let me tell you, all right, let me be very clear here how I feel about this Vooch trade. I don't regret it at all, at all, okay? Because here's the thing, folks. Was I absolutely disappointed in how the Bulls played after they got Nikola Vucevic? Absolutely. Did I expect them to make the playoffs? Yes. Was I pretty much disgusted that they didn't? Yes. But saying all of that, I still do not regret this trade. And here's why. Going into this offseason, the Bulls have two All-Stars on the roster, not one. And look, it is the eighth overall pick. It is not a fifth pick, fourth pick. Uh, excuse me, fifth pick, sixth pick. It's it's nothing where I'm saying, oh my goodness, like there was going to be a guy who's going to be a game changer. We got the number fourth overall pick last year in Patrick Williams. We drafted him. Patrick Williams had a decent rookie season, made the all-rookie second team. He wasn't a game changer right away. Now, again, down the line, he could be. It was only his rookie season. But, folks, for every guy that you think in the draft could be special, there's 10 guys that end up being a bust. So can you guarantee me the eighth overall pick would have turned into a player as good as Nikola Vucevic? I don't think so. Nikola Vucevic is one of the best big men in the NBA, a multi-time all-star, one of the best skilled bigs in the league. Yeah, I'll take my chances with Vooch over whoever we drafted or would have drafted at number eight. So I don't regret that at all. As far as looking forward for the Bulls' future, I have full confidence in AK, in ME, Mark Eversley, in this front office to be able to construct the right team. And especially after seeing, a, a, for instance, a team like the Atlanta Hawks do what they are doing in the playoffs, right? Going to the Eastern Conference Finals and doing it around a young player like a Trey Young and a bunch of role guys around him, right? They don't even have another all star. Trey Young didn't even make the all star team this year, by the way, but we don't know he's an all star player. So you got Trey Young, you got guys like John Collins, Clint Capella, uh, Kevin Herter, Bogdan Bogdanovich, guys who just know how to play their role, right? The Bulls right now have more talent in terms of their top players than Atlanta does, right? We've got Zach Levine and Nikola Vucevic. So Atlanta's doing all this just because of the fact that they've got guys that know how to play their position. They've got a good head coach, Nate McMillan, and they have good team chemistry. And obviously they're red hot right now. What's to say the Bulls can't do that? All the Bulls need to do is for the, for the front office to be able to put the right pieces around Zach and Booch. And Zach Levine is just as talented as Trey Young. I know, I know you might be saying five, Trey Young is way better. Look, Trey Young could be playing better right now, but Zach Levine has all the potential in the world. I mean, it's two different positions, right? So Trey Young, obviously, a point guard, a better passer, but Zach's a two. He's a shooting guard, right? And defensively, Trey Young is is nothing great. He's a, he's a turnstile on the defensive end. He's a revolving door. Teams pick on him. And so if you want to say Zach isn't a good defender, you can't use that argument for Trey. So Zach Levine, all the potential in the world, just like a Trey Young. So what's to say the Bulls can't do the same thing? And they've already begun with the first piece in getting 
Vooch. So why did the Bulls fail to make the playoffs last season when they had Vooch? I believe it was a combination of things, okay? I don't think it was one thing. I think Billy Donovan uh, definitely did not figure out the rotations quick enough or, uh, you know, took a while to get things going. I believe team chemistry was a big part of it. Uh, you know, we went from a fast-paced team running gun to now you got a guy down in the block that needs to slow the game down and you need to feed him in the post and he becomes your primary option. Now, again, depends on what offense you want to run, but that's a drastic change. So I believe that was a part of it. Uh, you know, injuries, guys being in and out of the lineup. It was a combination of things, okay? Are these excuses? I don't think so. If you guys want to say they're excuses, fine. But I think these are legitimate reasons. Should they still have made the playoffs? Yes, they did play poorly. But I am not going to take that as my oh, final word of how this team is going to play around Mooch. The roster is still being worked around. So this season, you pretty much have a way to kind of get a blank canvas here, right? Where AK and Emmy can look at the roster and say, okay, who are we keeping on the roster for sure? Zach and Vooch, those are our building blocks. Then we have guys like Kobe and Pat Will who are on rookie deals, right? So they're cheap, so we have to keep them. And then now you're talking about who's worth keeping, who's not. We've got glue guys like a Thad Young, like a Daniel Tice. So these are guys you need on a winning team, and they might keep that. The rest of the guys, everybody else, your Lowry's, your... Uh, Denzel Valentine's, uh, you know, all these other players, they're expandable. They're tradable. You can get rid of them and you won't regret it. So to me, this offseason is going to be huge for the Bulls to be able to go ahead and build the right offense, take their time, really take a look at what they want their identity to be. Because that was another thing. The Bulls didn't have an identity last year. Um, they're a poor defensive team. So this offseason... You can take your time, get the identity right, put the right team around Booch and Zach, get the right offense going around both of them, and go from there. So I don't regret the trade at all. Um, you always want to have more talent. Am I sad it didn't work out last offseason? Sure. But the eighth overall pick, us giving that up to Orlando makes me feel better uh, as opposed to if it was, let's say, a top five pick, right? So to me, I don't regret the trade. I trust this front office. I think good things, big things are coming this offseason. And moving forward, let me know what you guys think. Leave a comment down below if you agree or disagree, as always. Thanks for watching.